What is up, everybody? I know we're close to Halloween, so I'm going to play Evil Dead. It's full of boomstick. Anyway, I tried, um, I actually tried playing uh, Reservoir Dogs and uploading it on YouTube, but uh, I didn't want it to get copyrighted because of music. Yeah, that really sucks. Couldn't do it, guys. So Sorry. You're probably asking yourself how a handsome devil like me ended up in a place like this with you, right? All right. I'll tell you the whole story, but I warn you, it ain't pretty. It may seem hard to believe, but these chiseled good looks have seen a whole lot of ugly. So I guess I'd have to start with the book. Legend has it that it was written by the Dark Ones. Necronomicon Ex Mortis, roughly translated, the Book of the Dead. About 20 some odd years ago, Professor Nobi unearthed the book at Castle Kandar and accidentally unleashed the deadites in the woods outside Dearborn. That's when I got involved. To make a long story this short, thing. I was sent to hell and back, and then back again. And I kind of do. But enough about that. Let's talk some more about me. Like, for example, how did I end up here? Well, I guess you could say it all started with a woman. A woman in that godforsaken book. It always starts that way. Welcome, true believers, to another chilling episode of Mysteries of the Occult. Damn. I'm Trisha Pettywood. Nice glasses. The realms of shadow and the arcane. Joining me tonight is parapsychologist and best-selling author, Professor Alex Eldridge, author of... Look at this guy's eyeballs. Welcome, Professor. Thank you, Trisha. It's truly an honor to be here in the very town where my late colleague, Professor Noby, began his career. Why is he so white? <laughs> oh, the honor is all mine. Your brilliant modern translation of this ancient text is set to be incredibly popular. I told Noby there's even a film in the works. <coughs> oh, please. That hack wouldn't know the real Necronomicon from a roll of extra fluffy two-ply. Here, this one's on me. I'm awful sorry about Jenny. Tonight would have been ten years, right? Oh, yeah. Thanks for bringing that up, Chief. You're a real pal for throwing some margarita salt on the wound there. Perhaps you'd like to poke me in the eye with an umbrella and straw while you're at it. Dearborn man that claims the Necronomicon has the power to raise the dead or even travel interdimensionally through time. While it's easy to get caught up in the mythology behind the book, I'm afraid that sort of thing is just the sad, depraved ramblings of the lunatic. The real power of the Necronomicon lies not in the incantation, but in the poetry. Did you hear that? The guy called me a lunatic. Can you believe that? You want to see a lunatic, buddy? Why don't you come on down here and I'll show you a whole bottle full of lunatics. <laughs> We may never know what really happened in that cabin in the woods, but perhaps tonight we can finally shed some light on this famous local mystery. There I was, face to face with the mother of all ugly. So I say, come get some, and blam, no more Mr. Nasty Face. Thanks to come my get investigative some. work into the Nobi case, I've managed to uncover this amazing piece of evidence. Here in my hand is the last known tape of Professor Nobi, recorded the very night. Of his disappearance. But then it went bad. My hand, my own hand, it grabs the knife and I. In the mysteries of the occult exclusive, we're going to play the tape live in studio. Huh? Oh, I can hardly no. wait. Wait. What the hell are you doing? Don't play it. Don't play that. Taste dropper. Mantos Nosferatus. Isn't this like a part in Scary Movie 3 where they play like the videotape for the ring? Never mind. Now they 
all have to die in seven days, but this time they Make all got possessed by the Necronomicon. It's really interesting. I like that. When you've just emptied both barrels of a shotgun into your favorite bartender, you can pretty much bet that happy hour is over. I went outside to see just how bad the situation was. It was bad. Past experience told <laughs> it me it would get bad. a whole lot worse unless someone hit the deadites <laughs> where it hurt. It Seeing was how bad. The TV station was their shortcut into this world. I figured that was a pretty good place to start. But first, I had to find more weapons. My trusty boomstick was almost empty. Gotcha. Dearborn, Michigan, last night. Okay. Got to find some ammo. Hey, nice face. Let me fix it for you. Kids these days, huh? What are those things? They're everywhere. It's like all hell broke loose. Oh, gee. Do you think? Say, you mind telling me where I can find some more ammo for the old double barrel? I'm just a rookie. They don't give us a shotgun until our second year. I'm pretty good with the sidearm, though. Stick with me and we should be okay. Oh, great. An optimist with a gun. It's always a bad idea. Save game token. Nice. Best save my ammo. Ooh, I like this. Found a shovel. It's been a really long time since I've played this. Probably about the time when it came out. I, I never finished the game either, so only played uh, the first three levels, I want to say, because I rented it at like a Blockbuster. Good times. Anybody remember Blockbuster? Those were the days, man. All right, since we got that. up going to the well, the gates are locked man. Yeah, no doubt what about you so right now I have to <coughs> make sense Okay, 
Who wants it? Come get some. Let's go. Yeah, I can definitely cut through this. Yeah, no doubt. Tried to do that. Book of spells. Let's go with it. Our one button. I see. Yeah. Oh shoot. That wasn't what I meant to do. <laughs> Come on, man. Hey, Captain, you boys having a little R&R, &R, I see, huh? Dusting the girls <laughs> like for right fingerprints, are you? <laughs> Funny man. Those things in the yard have taken over the strip club, along with pretty much Why the whole Why does it sound town. like uh, Hank Hill? As long as they stay in there, we hold these positions. Hello? Which means Dang unless you're Bobby. a cop, you can just turn right around. <laughs> I relax, I'm on the job, see? Working vice. Deep undercover, you get me? You got a badge to the back zombie that right up. behind me. It's so cool. Does that tiger he just, he just took a bite of my. Good that? enough for me. Go have a ball. Oh my god. No. What is he doing? No. So close. This ammo, no, no, don't take, don't take me alive now, now. Run, 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 run. Yes, I'm bouncing health. Wait a minute. I've had health this whole time. It's been a minute since I've played this. Oh, I can't get that. Rocket. Alright, so one of these zombies has to have the, na the next key. I do. Thank you for shopping at Ass Whoopin's R Us. Cool. Nice. All right, that's what I needed to get with some dynamite. Hey, nice.
Hey, nice complexion. For a freak. Right. Uh, yeah. Need to use this to blow up. No, no. Where's he going? Oh, that's just beautiful. Take me dead. Evil dead, our Elsa. Wait a minute. Where am I supposed to go? Uh, oh yeah, that's right. The radio station. Okay, I thought Say, you, you work in there? Uh huh. But tonight I'll make an exception. Smart move. So tell me, how does a handsome guy like me break into showbiz? You want in? Well, I got a key to the main gate, but the station is on emergency lockdown. You need the master mm -hmm. key card to get into the station building. But our chief of security has it, and he took off. Here's the key to the gates. Personally, I'm out of here. Break a leg, huh? Gee, thanks. <laughs> oh, no. No. Are you kidding me? Why? Monster. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Before I died. Oops, I wasn't Say. supposed to do that. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to do that, but 
Yeah. Said something. Here's the key to the gates. Personally, I'm out of here. Break a leg, huh? Uh, right. Thanks for that. I just want those guys ass. <laughs> Jammed solid. I'd have to be superhuman to get this open. Alright, so that's what we're supposed to do before we uh, try to open this. He just kicks it down. Pretty much. Huh, the doors are locked. There we go. There we go. So, what exactly was the plan here, Einstein? Run your hand up the thigh of the supernatural till you get your wrist slapped? I uh, do seem to have underestimated the power of the book somewhat. These creatures, if we leave them alone, will they eventually go away? Oh, sure, they'll go hang out with the Easter Bunny. Listen, Brainiac, these are the mother of all pest problems, and we are the exterminators. You know any good rid-the-world-of-demons routines? I, uh, I always thought these writings were mere superstitious nonsense. Professor hmm. Nobi was the one who truly believed in the Necronomicon's power. Three cheers for Professor Nobi. Nobi. Did he leave any notes? Any egghead stuff that might tell us how to give these mothers the kiss-off? He was obsessed. He wrote endlessly, but would never show me his notes. I don't know what happened to them after he died. Well, they gotta be somewhere. And if we're gonna live to see daylight, we have to find them. Well, that does it, guys, for part one. These levels are somewhat long. I think I'm just gonna keep it up to, like, one each episode. So... Yeah, this does it for part one. I'll see you guys in part two. Bye.